energy in simple harmonic motion. Here we have a simple pendulum. At the top positions here and here, the pendulum has zero kinetic energy. It isn't moving, but it has maximum potential energy as it is at its greatest height. In the central position here, it has zero potential energy. It can't get any lower but it's travelling at its fastest speed and so has maximum kinetic energy. Assuming no energy is lost, the total energy of the pendulum will remain constant. Here I'm going to plot a graph of the energy of the pendulum against time. At t equals naught, we'll have the pendulum across to the right hand side. At a quarter of the time period, the pendulum will be directly down. Half the time period it will be across to the right. Three quarters again directly down but this time travelling to the right and after one time period it will be back where it started from. So first plotting values for the kinetic energy they go something like this. Zero kinetic energy when the pendulum is at maximum displacement and maximum kinetic energy when the pendulum is travelling through the bottom of its swing. I'll label this kinetic energy. The potential energy will go something like this. Being a maximum at the ends of the swing and a minimum of zero at the centre point. I'll label this the potential energy. The total energy will be a constant value, like this. So you see from this graph that both the potential energy and the kinetic energy go through two complete cycles while the pendulum goes through one complete cycle. So the kinetic energy changes with twice the frequency of the oscillation the potential energy also changes with twice the frequency of the oscillation. The total energy is constant and is always the sum of the kinetic and potential energies. The kinetic and potential energies are in antiphase when one is a maximum, the other is a minimum.